Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Schultz, and welcome to 2021. This year, we're going to start with a well-known story that has been made into many different types of entertainment, from ballets to animated films and beyond. It's a long story by Hans Christian Andersen, and it's really an amazing tale. This is The Snow Queen, a tale in seven stories. And this is the first story, which deals with a mirror and its fragments. Now we are about to begin, and you must attend. And when we get to the end of the story, you will know more than you do now about a very wicked hobgoblin. He was one of the worst kind. In fact, he was a real demon. One day... He was in a high state of delight because he had invented a mirror with this peculiarity, that every good and pretty thing reflected in it shrank away to almost nothing. On the other hand, every bad and good-for-nothing thing stood out and looked its worst. The most beautiful landscapes reflected in it looked like boiled spinach, and the best people became hideous, or else they were upside down and had no bodies. Their faces were distorted beyond recognition, and... If they had even one freckle, it appeared to spread all over the nose and mouth. The demon thought this was immensely amusing. If a good thought passed through anyone's mind, it turned into a grin in the mirror, and this caused real delight to the demon. All the scholars in the demon's school, for he kept a school, reported that a miracle had taken place. Now, for the first time, it had become possible to see what the world and mankind were really like. They ran about all over with the mirror, till at last there was not a country or a person which had not been seen in this distorting mirror. They even wanted to fly up to heaven with it, to mock the angels, but the higher they flew, the more it grinned, so much so that they could hardly hold it, and at last it slipped out of their hands and fell to the earth, shivered into hundreds of millions and billions of bits. Even then it did more harm than ever. Some of these bits were not as big as a grain of sand, and these flew all about over the world, getting into people's eyes, and once in they were stuck there, and distorted everything they looked at, or made them see everything that was amiss. Each tiniest grain of glass kept the same power as that possessed by the whole mirror. Some people even got a bit of glass into their hearts, and that, that was terrible, for the heart became like a lump of ice. Some of the fragments were so big that they were used for window panes, but it was not advisable to look at one's friends through these panes. Other bits were made into spectacles, and it was a bad business when people put on these spectacles meaning to be just. The bad demon laughed till he split his sides. It tickled him to see the mischief he had done. But some of these fragments were still left floating about the world, and you shall hear what happened to them. And that is our introduction to The Snow Queen, A Tale in Seven Stories. The first story, which deals again with a mirror and its fragments created by a demon, it lays all the groundwork for this long, wonderful tale. This is Dan Scholes for The Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. If you'd like to help support the podcast, you can head over to patreon.com slash folktaleproject. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you all so much for listening. <laughs>